Okay, right here is a 1993 Caterpillar 994. The story of the 994 dates back to early 1969, when Caterpillar tested the first experimental 994 loader, which featured a diesel-electric drivetrain and a 20-cubic yard bucket. However, problems encountered with Caterpillar's early diesel-electric drive mining trucks led to the project being canceled in 1970. A second try at the 994 project was made again in 1976, this time utilizing a mechanical drivetrain. However, due to high development costs and low expectations for a loader of its size in the marketplace, Caterpillar management believed that the project was too risky and therefore it was terminated. The third and final attempt at the 994 project began in the late 1980s and was not tied at all to the two previous attempts. Development on the prototype 994 began in 1989 and by September 1990 the prototype was ready for testing. The following month Caterpillar officially introduced the 994. Now let's go and take a closer look at this big girl. When the 994 was introduced, it was the largest mechanical drive wheel loader ever built by Caterpillar at this time in history, and was double the size of Caterpillar's ex-flagship wheel loader, the 992C, which you can see off to the left side here. And as you can see, the 994 completely dwarfs the 992C. The 994 was available from Caterpillar with bucket sizes ranging from 13 to 26 cubic yard capacity, depending on what the customer preferred. However, Caterpillar also offered an optional high volume 40 cubic yard bucket for coal loading. This particular 994 is equipped with a 23 cubic yard rock bucket, which measures 18 feet 6 inches across. The 994 featured Z-Bar linkage, which provides for higher breakout force, higher rack back angle to reduce spillage, controlled dump speed, and fewer pivot points. Short or long boom configurations were also offered for the 994 to meet the job requirements. The 994 featured oil-cooled disc brakes and all-wheel drive with double reduction planetary final drive in each wheel hub. And to help give you an idea of the sheer size of a 994, this massive loader measures 21 feet 5 inches tall from the ground to the top of the ropes over the operator's cab, 17 feet 1 inch wide, and depending on boom configuration, can range from 55 feet 3 inches to 57 feet 2 inches long. The 994 
featured a four-plate loader tower connected to a box section frame to absorb shock and twisting loads. The 994 also featured a spread hitch design in which the upper and lower hitches are spread 110 inches apart to withstand torsional loads between the front and rear frame sections. Here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And here you can get a good view of the main frame. Here you can see one of the steering cylinders and the other is on the opposite side. And these two are what will turn the loader left or right. And if you look carefully behind the steering cylinder here, you can get a good view of the transmission on the 994, which we'll talk more about later. Let's go up on top of this big cat. Okay. All of these compartments that you see provide access to the engine. Let's check it out. The 994 is powered by a Caterpillar 3516 turbocharged and after-cooled direct injection V16 diesel engine with a 35% rise in torque that produces 1,250 horsepower at 1,600 RPM and 5,786 foot-pounds of torque at 1,100 RPM for this machine. And here you can see the multi-row module radiator, which is designed for efficient cooling and easy service. The engine on the 994 drives three piston type hydraulic pumps to power the implement section, which work together to develop 328 GPM at 1710 RPM for this machine. Let's go up top. As you can see, there is a lot of room up on the top deck of a 994 loader. And if you look at the floor grates, you can see all of the individual compartments which allow access to all of the drivetrain components on this machine. All of the red canisters that you see behind the operator's cab are for the fire suppressant system. Now, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 994. Okay, now let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Off to the left side, here you can see all of the gauges which monitor this entire loader when it's in operation. And off to the right side control panel, here you can see all of the warning lights. The 994 is equipped with Caterpillar's electronic monitoring system, which continuously monitors this loader when it's in operation and will alert the operator in case of a malfunction. This hand lever that you see over here off to the left side below the steering wheel controls the transmission. This is in the neutral position right here. Push forward to make the loader go forward and pull back to engage the loader into reverse. 
and by simply twisting this hand lever, as you see, allows the operator to select from first, second, or third gear ranges. The 994 is equipped with a three-speed planetary power shift transmission with a lock-up torque converter. The transmission features a modulating valve which regulates hydraulic actuation pressure to ease clutches together and a pressure sequencing valve to assure directional clutches are engaged last to absorb the torque load during directional changes. These two hand levers that you see over here on my right side control all the functions of the loader out in front. The left hand lever controls the loader bucket to curl it in or curl it out. The right hand lever controls the lift arms to raise or lower the bucket. The 994 also features a boom kickout and an automatic boom leveler. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 994. The 994 featured a walkway with hand railings mounted in front of the operator's cab to allow for better service accessibility. And from out in front here, you can get a good view looking down at the loader attachment in the front. top of the engine house, you can see the four exhaust stacks and the four air intake and air cleaning units for the engine. Mounted on the back of this loader, below the diesel engine, is the fuel tank, which holds 1,200 gallons of diesel fuel. And on the back top of the engine house, you can see where it says, Caterpillar. At the time of its introduction, the overall operating weight of a 994 could range anywhere from 192.5 to 193.4 tons. By 1998, the 994 had grown to 197.5 tons. Over the course of its life, Caterpillar continued to make numerous improvements to increase the loader's performance, such as a beefed up front axle and lift arm assembly, redesigned pump drives, an improved torque converter and cooling system, and larger radial tires. In December 1998, Caterpillar introduced the new 994D as a replacement for the aging 994, which by that time had sold over 200 units around the world. The 994D featured many improvements over the original 994, the most notable of which was the redesigned curved tip exhaust stacks and extended air cleaners above the engine house. Other upgrades included 
an improved 3516B EUI diesel engine with the same power rating as the 994, an increase in operating weight to 212 tons, and a newly designed operator's cab featuring a rim pull control system and also featured Caterpillar's new STIC joystick steering control system which was later offered as an upgrade feature for the 994. But there she is, a 1993 Caterpillar 994.